A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for keeping it Y254. As always, we do appreciate your company. My name is Shiko Kaitani and welcome to another edition of Hello Day. But before we begin, I have to say I'm so sorry. I happened to miss my segment yesterday. Man, it's it's good to be back. Trust me, being sick is not funny. And you might feel a cold or see a cold coming. <laughs> so don't mind me today on the program. Kindly excuse me. But nevertheless, happy to be back. And of course, uh, this being a Tuesday, it's all about entrepreneurship and career talk and this time around on hello day we get into the discussion of agribusiness now as you probably know the idea of agriculture is not such a popular idea amongst the youth but the big question here is could we possibly be missing out on opportunities well, at just 23 years old, my guest up next has already established an agricultural consultancy firm helping young people tap into the existing opportunities in agribusiness within their localities. Please help me welcome Emmanuel Atamba, who is the CEO of Upseed Consulting company karibu sana to the show Asante. Thank i'm you. so excited to have you by the way emmanuel and Thank i'll tell you, you why mm -hmm. because i am extremely passionate mm -hmm. about agriculture mm -hmm. and there's two things i always keep telling people by the way i'm gonna do for the rest of my life and mm -hmm. that is media and farming and farm. <laughs> Good. Good. So I'm really happy that you're here. Asante. Okay, so before we get into the whole discussion about agribusiness, can you please tell us what your farm is all about? Um, Upseed. Upseed is an agricultural production systems and institutions development mm -hmm. uh, consulting firm. Um, uh, I'll give you a little background of that. Um, uh, when we were in campus, uh, we saw that we had a lot of capacity mm. to support farmers. Yeah. Uh, with the coming in of, of devolution, uh, uh, a lot of extension services that were being offered by the government have yeah. been seen to, to dwindle a little bit. So we thought, why not? Because we, 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 we were in second year and we had done a bit of uh, basic agriculture mm. and we thought we could go out and share the little knowledge that we have mm -hmm. with farmers. Yeah. Uh, initially, it was pro bono. Yeah. So we wanted to share information with farmers. We, wanted, we were very excited to learn from farmers and yeah. come and implement the same. So that is how Upseed uh, came up. Yeah. So Upseed is about, uh, is about uh, ensuring that uh, the opportunities that are there within mm -hmm. localities mm -hmm. can be tapped by young people yeah. living and farming mm -hmm. in those areas. Mm -hmm. So um, Upseed is about uh, linking people to opportunities that are next to them. Okay. So when we work with young people, mm -hmm. we work with young people in their homes. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like where do you come from? Uh, which is your nearest primary school, we yeah. want to work with you there. Yeah. So we look for opportunities yeah. where somebody is and we connect them to those opportunities mm. and that is how we work. So okay. we work with young people. Yeah. It's uh, to provide opportunities for young people mm. because we believe that young people can support the chain. It's true. Yeah, it's at very different true. points. Okay. Yeah. Well, we want to say congratulations. I mean, at 23, this is very impressive. Mm -hmm. I am completely impressed. And in fact, um, Emmanuel's partner is actually here at Dennis in studio just to show some support. So hi, yeah. Dennis. <laughs> okay, so mm -hmm. now let's get into that definition of agribusiness because yeah. when people just hear agriculture, they just think, okay, Nikulima, Nimenda, Najembe, and mm -hmm. that's just it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give us that definition? Um, agribusiness, uh, there's the agribusiness that should be and the agribusiness that people know. But yeah. uh, the agribusiness that most people know is uh, mm -hmm. going into commercial agriculture, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, dealing with enterprises that are more likely to generate uh, a lot more income mm -hmm. or more lucrative enterprises. Yeah. Um, and we have seen that happening. It, 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 it involves a lot of a uh, bit of, of creativity, a bit of innovation, yeah. uh, a bit of uh, investment also. That is, uh, the, you know, the scope of agribusiness, if yeah. you look at it uh, from the mm -hmm. way we know it. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, the agribusiness that uh, we talk about when we happen, to, we don't mention agribusiness a lot in Upseed. Upseed, mm. we talk about agriculture, mm -hmm. food production. It's the responsibility of everyone yeah. to produce food mm -hmm. uh, for yourself mm -hmm. and then produce food for your neighbors. Yes. It has been seen from the biblical times. Yeah. You see, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, the, the, the two sons of, uh, of, of Adam, mm -hmm. Cain and Abel. Mm -hmm. You know, one was tasked, was given a talent to produce yeah. uh, crops mm -hmm. and the other was given a talent mm -hmm. uh, to keep animals yes so it is a responsibility that we have to yeah. produce food for ourselves mm -hmm. and for our neighbors okay so okay. that is what we are looking at when we talk about uh, agriculture 
Uh, but agribusiness, when we happen to mention it, then mm. we are not talking about mainly only the, the, the production, production on the part farm. Of it, yes. Yeah, we are looking at uh, involving, uh, putting in a lot of effort in different parts of the chain. Mm -hmm. Young people are very flexible. Young people are very, you know, tech, high tech in yeah. terms of communication and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. And we believe that there is a bigger role they can play yeah. uh, aside from just going into production themselves. Yeah. So when we talk about agribusiness, we are looking at linking farmers to markets. Mm -hmm. We are looking at linking farmers to input providers yes. and then now participating in the farming itself so yeah hence why it's called the value chain because yeah. there's just so many things that come into it exactly. it's not just producing the food yes uh but you know there are a lot of misconceptions that mm -hmm. are out there and mm -hmm. i want us to, to to jump into that because of yeah. course this being y254 and you know people young people even for me i mean there was this barrier when mm -hmm. you just think about agriculture it's yeah. such a huge turn off you're like yeah. nah, i'm mm -hmm. not gonna do that first yeah. of all it's not even cool uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what are some of those misconceptions? Uh, one you just said that it's not cool. Yeah. That is a misconception. Agriculture yeah. and food production is, is is the coolest thing you can do. I know. So yeah. <laughs> so uh, when you when you think about when you think about agriculture, agriculture is not something you do uh, because you don't have any other thing to do. Mm -hmm. Something you have to do out of passion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom used to say, you know, huyu ya kona mkono ya kuchunga kifaranga, huyu ya kona mkono ya ngombe. Yeah. So there are those things, you know, mm -hmm. you have you have a gift. Yeah. There is something you can do, and mm -hmm. I'll take you back to the to the to the to the Abel and Kind mm -hmm. story. You know, mm -hmm. uh, this guy was able to keep sheep. Mm -hmm. This one was able to produce mm -hmm. cabbages. So you cannot go and keep sheep because the cabbage, the market for cabbages is flooded. Yeah. You have to stick to what you can do. Yes. So we have skills, we have interests, mm -hmm. uh, we have different abilities, mm -hmm. and uh, that is that is what matters. Yeah. Uh, so when you when you think about uh, agribusiness or mm -hmm. going into food production. Yeah. Uh, looking at your skills and areas of interest, mm -hmm. uh, there are people who are just happy. I have a brother of mine who is just very happy looking at the cow, you know, milking <laughs> it, and I'm not interested in that. Yes. So, you see, so there are different interests. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. even in agribusiness, you need to find the gift that you are given. Mm. In which which kind of food can you produce? Which kind yeah. of crops can you, mm -hmm. can you keep? There are people who do, you know, w but when you, when you look at it in a way that, uh, you know, you are here to do because there's nothing else you can do. Yes. You know, you came to Nairobi you didn't find a job and now you want to go and farm yes uh, then it's not cool yes. you know you yeah. are enslaving yourself you're doing true. something you don't love mm. but anything you love mm -hmm. uh, definitely is cool yeah and yeah. Um, myself uh, I, I, I studied at uh, Ngose high school and I, I built my passion in agriculture mm -hmm. uh, from high school mm -hmm. I used to work at the at the pig unit yeah. in high school. <laughs> so I would yeah. wake up in the morning, uh, go for preps like everyone else. Yes. But when people go in the morning for breakfast, yes. I go first to the kitchen. Yeah. I take a wheelbarrow full of you know the kitchen waste. waste yeah. I go and feed the pigs, uh -huh. then come back to the kitchen, take my breakfast, yes. and I used to do that. Uh, every for, day. You know, yeah. every day it was my routine. <laughs> so great. because I loved it, yeah. and 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 when you love something, you don't wait to be paid to do it. Yeah. You do it because you don't do it for the money. Yeah. You don't do it so. So uh, when you talk about the misconceptions, one misconception is about what you get from agribusiness. Mm. Uh, many people will say when you have a small piece of land, you know, you have to make money out of it. And this yeah. culture of making money yeah. among young people mm. is really taking us uh, mm. to, you know, mm. the wrong mm. direction. Uh, you are supposed to earn money, not make money. Okay. So when you go into farming to make money, uh, then when you don't make the money, yeah. then you are offended. It you know, you true. are discouraged. Yeah, and young people, uh, okay, fine, people generally, let me yeah. not even say they're young, but they, they yeah. just, when you just have this conversation, generally mm -hmm. people say, hey, mm -hmm. say agriculture is gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you don't even want to understand what yeah. goes into yeah. it before yeah. you just say that, yeah. So there are buzzwords that yeah. uh, that come with yeah. that. You know, people say there's money in the soil and all that. And if, if for instance, if somebody tells you, you know, you are broke and... Yeah. Uh, uh, you 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 remember maybe there is a knot mm. that fell under your bed. Mm. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. You are going to you know to remove the mattress, throw it away, and the bed sheets and everything, yeah. so that you get that a thousand shillings yes. that fell, you know, yeah. uh, or even if it's fifty shillings, mm. because you need it so urgently. Yeah, and you're most likely to leave your bed mm -hmm. in a bad condition because you got the money maybe you wanted to buy something immediately yeah. you go and buy what you wanted to buy mm -hmm. but how did you leave your bed mm -hmm. 
So when you think when you think about money in the soil, mm -hmm. uh, when you tell people that there's money in the soil, then they are basically going to disturb the soil. Yeah. They are basically going to turn the soil upside down. Mm -hmm. They are going to make sure that the soil is dry. Yeah. They are going to make sure that the nutrients that were in the soil are yeah. not there anymore because they are looking for the money. Yes. Yes. And that instead is of a think wrong. Of it long term, yeah. Instead of thinking of long term, mm. uh, they think of short term. So yeah. you know, you go into a farm, a very nice farm. It has uh, amaranthus growing on its own. Yeah. It has uh, managu growing on its own. Yeah. Uh, it has different kind of you know edible things that are growing on its own. Then you slash them and you <laughs> plant cabbages because you want money. It's true. Then at the end of the day, when you don't have the seeds to plant cabbages again, yes, you have nothing to eat. So, FYI, so. yes, farming is not betting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is not a quick fix kind of profession uh -huh. yeah you've got to wait you've got to understand exactly. how these things function in yeah. order for you to actually be successful mm -hmm. and rip from it yeah, yeah. yes i trust we have learned the hard way as well because yeah. uh, <laughs> i used to be one of those people who used to think ah but then one month two months i'll mm -hmm. probably make this mm -hmm. money mm -hmm. uh, but from your experience and yeah. i think you know when you go out there and you interact with young people mm -hmm. what are the opportunities that we're truly missing that you feel that we're just so blind to that you know if mm -hmm. only young people could tap into certain areas, mm -hmm. then we would be getting all these opportunities. What do you? I would say um, uh, I'd use a case, uh, a real case analysis. Yeah, mm. uh, there's a there's a young man that I interacted with mm. uh, who was keeping rabbits. Yeah, uh, it's called Patrick. So Patrick keeps rabbits, mm -hmm. and. Uh, he didn't talk about what he was doing. So mm. he was just keeping rabbits. He has a Facebook account. Mm -hmm. He has uh, WhatsApp on his phone. Mm -hmm. He has Twitter and everything. So yeah. he was just doing the, he was just keeping the rabbits and selling locally to people. Some, some would slaughter and eat and some would keep. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, when we started talking to Patrick, because he contacted me sometime and mm. said, I'm doing agriculture and there's no opportunity, you know, I cannot even sell. And I, t I told him there are many other farmers mm -hmm. who don't have a, p a Facebook account yes. that you used to connect with me mm. because he, he contacted me through Facebook. Yes. So I told Patrick, why don't you become the bridge yes. and connect these farmers mm. to the opportunities that you are also looking for? Mm. Mm. So instead of, of you looking for your opportunities, it's just you look for your opportunities you found them but when you find the opportunity now you become the helper yeah you are sick you are healed now you become a healer mm. so you're supposed to go back there and mm. support these farmers who do not have the opportunities that you have yeah who do not have the technical skills or mm. the, the, the know-how that mm -hmm. you you have yeah so you connect them now to the market mm -hmm. now he is mobilizing farmers yeah uh, and these farmers are selling rabbits together through him. Wow. So you see, if you are a young person yeah. and uh, you think about it in the money way, that you mm. say, okay, I'm keeping rabbits. I have uh, yeah. young ones. I have 30 young ones. Mm. By end of the month, I will yeah. sell them at this price. Yeah. Then you do simple economics or simple mathematics and say yeah. 20 times 200. Yeah. I get this much. Mm -hmm. You know, so you would miss out on so many opportunities mm -hmm. uh, that you could just go out, interact with people, know who else is doing what you're doing, what are their challenges. Yeah. And because you are able to communicate, you are able to interact with other people uh, using the digital platforms that we have. Which Try and look for yeah. market for these people. When you when you actually talk to a lot of um, financial consultants or mm -hmm. wealth consultants, they mm -hmm. actually talk about people growing or making wealth by providing solutions Solution. to problems. Exactly. If you want to make money, mm -hmm. find a problem. Yeah and then get the solution, get the to, solution that, to that and you'll problem. be surprised how you will even be making money off of yeah, that yeah. so for patrick this has also become another earning another revenue for him exactly to earn. exactly right so so he is now is now the the linkage between the farmers mm. and market okay. Uh, okay when you talk about uh, when you talk about uh, the pellets for the rabbits and everything yeah. he now uh, buys in bulk mm -hmm. and distributes to these wow, farmers wow that's fantastic because now yeah. you see you you can you can benefit always because mm. if you are in a rural area somewhere and you can uh, buy fertilizer probably at 500 shillings more yeah, yeah. than it is sold in town yeah then it's an opportunity for you to move around mm -hmm. and mobilize farmers in your area and mm -hmm. tell them look uh, this is how much we are buying fertilizer at right and this is how much fertilizer is sold yeah. in this nearby town yeah why can't we put our efforts together and mm -hmm. you are able to you know you have some education and you're able to mobilize these people you're wow. able to connect yeah and you source the inputs mm -hmm. distribute uh, to the people who paid for them yeah and you you know you you, you benefit yeah as the farmers also benefit right. so young people should focus on supporting the system mm. 
if we think about inheriting uh, inheriting the system yes. uh, from uh, from our parents now mm. we are basically going to inherit a dead system mm. we are we are operating in a system where yes. the farmers themselves are hungry yeah and it's a very sad situation mm. you see farmers uh, who have been uh, who have been misadvised yeah. to do away with all enterprises mm -hmm. and focus on one enterprise mm. on, on one enterprise and mm. then at the end of the day they they sell to brokers yeah. they get little little money they don't get value for them for the exactly. for the for the produce exactly. or the, for yeah. the products yeah. and then what happens they have to line up at the market mm -hmm. and use all that money that they were given mm -hmm. for the commodity they measured on yes uh they they have to use all that money to buy the rest of the food that's true so if it's if that is the kind of system that young people are being told to go back to the rural areas yeah. to inherit mm. then we need to do some painting we need <laughs> to do some you know some uh, modification yes. and improve the system it's true. before we inherit it it's true yeah